In this session, we will study about nested loop. So when one loop comes within the body of another loop, it is known as nesting of loop. And the loop which comes first is known as the outer loop and the loop which comes within is known as the inner loop. So here there is a small program to print a pyramid of star symbol. So here we have taken two loop. Here is the first loop. This is the outer loop of this program. Have a counter variable i which take its value from the range function. And as the range function has value 3, so this function will execute for the value 0 to 3 minus 1. That is for 0, 1 and 2. Now, when i is 0, so it will check the condition as 0 is less than 3. Now, it is the right condition, true condition. So, control comes to the inner loop. Now, when the control comes into an inner loop, then again it will find the control variable j here and j will also pick the value from range function and that is also a value 3 so it will also execute for 0 1 and 2 so j will initialize by the value 0 now in this situation we have i as a value 0 and j as a value 0 so here in inner loop the condition is checked as 0 is less than 3 yes it is true condition so the control comes to the body of inner loop and in the body of inner loop we have one if statement and if statement is checking the condition whether i is greater than or equal to j if this condition is uh, will be right then control comes to the print statement and if con this condition is not right then the control goes to the next iteration of the inner loop so at this time, we have a i equal to 0 and j is also a 0 value. So, 0 is not greater but it's equal to 0. So, this statement will be true here and the pre print statement will print a symbol star. Now, it has a delimiter character space so it will put a space character after the star symbol. Now, again, there is no statement below this print statement so the control goes for the next iteration of inner loop and the j will get incremented and it will become 0 to 1. So right now the value of i is 0 here and j will be 1. So 0 is greater than or equal to 1? No. The condition become false. So this print statement will not get executed and control goes to the next iteration for inner loop. So now j become 2. Now 2 is less than 3? Yes. Then control comes to the body of the inner loop. So here i is a value 0 and j has a value 2. So 0 is greater than equal to 2? No. So that's why print statement will not print here and it goes to the next iteration. So the j get incremented and it becomes 3. So Again, the condition is checked as 3 is less than 3. No. Now, this loop will terminate and it comes to the else part. So, in else part, just we have a print statement. When we write print simply, then it will create a one new line. So, one new line will get created and as there is no statement below this, so control goes to the outer loop. So, now here, I get incremented and I become 1. So again the loop condition will check 1 is less than 3? Yes. Then control re-enter the inner loop and again this inner loop process for its whole iteration that is 0, 1 and 2. So first time j is 0 and here i is 1. So i is 1, 1 is greater than uh, 0? Yes. This condition will be true. So the print statement will print one star symbol. Now uh, for next iteration j become 1. 
so one is uh, greater than one no it's not greater but it's equal to so again it will print one star symbol now again j get incremented and it become two so two is less than three yes now here i has a value one and j becomes two one is greater than equal to two no that's why this loop uh, uh, this uh, print statement will not get uh, executed and control goes to the next iteration so j become here 3 and 3 is less than 3 no now the condition become false and it comes to the else part so here in else part there is one new line character so one new line will um, print because plain print will create a new line so again control goes to the outer loop and i get incremented so i become 2 now 2 is less than 3 yes now it re-enter the inner loop once the control comes to the inner loop then inner loop get reinitialized and it will process for its whole range of value that is 0 1 and 2 so now this time j is i is uh, 2 here and j will get reinitialized by 0 so 2 is greater than 0 yes now a star will get printed now it get incremented and become 1 so again value of i is 2 and uh, j is 1 so 2 is greater than 1 yes now again print a statement will get uh, executed now in next iteration j become 2 so i is 2 here 2 is greater than uh, 2 no it's not greater but it's equal to 2 so again condition is right and the control comes to the print statement and it will get executed and it will print the star character so when in next iteration j get incremented and it become 3 so 3 is less than 3 no the control comes out of the loop and it will print one space character and again it will goes to the outer loop so here outer loop i become 3 now 3 is less than 3 no so condition become false and it comes out of the loop and as there is no statement here so program terminates here and it will print the pyramid of star so now we will have a demonstration of this code with the python program so here i have written the same program and uh, when i will execute it it will print the star symbol like this so now we need uh, we will change some value and have fun with the with this program so here If I will change the value 3 to 5, so this loop will execute for the value 0 to 4 and uh, the loop will execute for 5 times and it will pyramid the it will print the pyramid for five stars so this will be the output for this program now suppose if i don't want to print the star symbol here just i want to know how these loops are working so if i type here right uh, type here i so it will give the value of i how the which for a which iteration of i the uh, loop is working so when i print it so first time the uh, value of i will be zero so it will print zero then first time the uh, second time the value of i is two uh, sorry one then it will print two times one then th two then three and then four so it is uh, how the outer loop is working outer loop will uh, uh, have a counter variable i and uh, first time the i of value of i is zero and when control comes to the inner loop 
so this condition will true only for one time so the only one time the value of i get printed second time it the value of uh, i and j when we compare i is greater than j so as i has a value 1 and j will work for its two value that is 0 and 1 so loop will execute for two times and it will print two times 1 and so on similarly if i will change the value of i to j so it will print the value of j in a output so here for what uh, um, values i uh, j variable uh, j uh, counter variable will work first time it will be 0 second time it will be 0 1 third time it will be 0 1 2 and so on so now if I am going to change the condition if condition here from greater than 2 I am going to make it less than now it will print the inverted loops so when I will print like this then it will print the loop in a inverted manner so this is how the nested loop works in a program and we can implement nested loop in many conditions. So now I am going to conclude this topic. Thank you.